Our main focus currently is on the new improved AI system that Tommy's been working on for quite a while, uh, which will allow us to make uh, more and better AI behaviors for animals in the saga. So Tommy merged that code base into the main game project last month, and uh, we've been debugging it, getting there, but, but not, not done yet. So while that's been Tommy's main focus, the rest of us have been working on uh, adding the full arc of quests to each map. Can you tell? Here we are in Slough Creek in the fall. And working on our backlog, which is a long list of small improvements that we've accumulated over the years. And it's nice to have some time finally to focus on them. In the fall season, once you finish the trial period with a mate, we've added an option now to hang out with your mate before progressing on into winter and establishing your territory. If you want to get better acquainted with your mate or just enjoy the, the fall weather before the pressure of territory claiming begins, you can do that now and then decide in the quests panel when to move on into the winter. A lot of other little things like uh, more refinements to the, the high elevation snow line. You might have noticed this in the Lost River DLC map. We finally got snow up on the mountaintops in in the spring, lasting all the way through into June, which is generally how snow is in the mountains, sticks around. So now I've got snowy mountains in the springtime in Amethyst and Slough Creek as well. And Andre has refined and expanded the controls for that so I can get snow on those mountaintops in the fall as well. It's a nice sign having the snow up there on the mountain peaks to let you know that, yeah, winter is coming. Let's see, we've got an excellent uh, new 3D artist working on some stuff, Damian Patterson. He's created a couple new cottonwood tree models. Those are growing down by the Lamar River in Amethyst. Look really nice down there, nice and the, have the, kind of the right stature and shape. And, uh, and a bunch of other stuff, including some nice new lupin flowers. Much better than what we had before. What else? Susan has been having fun creating a bunch of new wolf dream images. More than 80 of them, in fact. Got some uh, interesting situations going on here. What wolves make of it is up to you. Another thing that can get uh, repetitive when you play the game a lot are the photos and tips that appear while game scenes load. So Susan has scoured the photo libraries of the National Park Service for more Yellowstone photos and uh, is working on more gameplay tips and Yellowstone tidbits to entertain and inform you during those loading screens. So one thing that's been missing from Anniversary Edition is the research airplane that occasionally flies overhead if your wolf has a radio collar. Yellowstone biologists really do this, and for decades, their go-to pilot was Roger Stradley flying a Piper Super Cub, which was superb for this kind of work because it can fly very slowly and just sort of almost hover over the animals that they're observing. He just died last month, actually. He was an incredible pilot, so we've modeled our airplane after his. And again, adding this research airplane has been in the backlog for ever. <laughs> so finally I put Andre on that to uh, develop a little mini simulation of the research airplane and uh, he took it a couple steps further than I had been thinking and it's turning out really cool. Unlike in Wolf Quest 2.7, instead of just flying a fixed course across the map, this map's huge. Where are the wolves? The pilot and the airplane knows because of course, of course your wolf has a radio collar on and so it can home in on you flies over, comes in low, and so the pilot and the biologist on board can get a close look at the animals. It'll circle around you for a minute. If you're running, it'll follow you along for maybe a couple minutes, observing behavior before eventually flying off to look for some other animals. Looks like here is Scott stuck flying in a circle, uh, even though I've left it behind. Andre's been working through some bugs on this with uh, keeping the target updated for the wolf and of course not flying into the terrain, but it's getting there and it's really cool. All this stuff uh, isn't in the game yet. It'll be in the next update. That won't be for a while because we still have a fair bit of debugging to do on the AI, plus this and other new stuff that we've been working on, including the pronghorn. So we'll have more about all that in uh, some devlogs in April. So stay tuned.